So, welcome back to my channel. This is your boy Darian Terrell. So, got a new tablet today, the Galaxy Tab E. So, I'm going to do a quick review on this. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to set this up and pair it to this and how to set up your POS system on there and mount it on there. Okay, so, unfortunately, the box that I got is like really dirty. So, sorry about that, guys. Let's go ahead and crack this sucker open. Oh boy. All right, so let's turn this baby on real quick. All right. Slide this out the way. We'll get to that. So comes with your guide, user, all that good stuff. Your charger, which it looks like it's a V9. Sorry, I was like not even on the camera. Um, a V9 charger, not a C charger. Then it comes with its box. And that's pretty much it from there. We're going to push that aside. And also, so this is kind of a pain to open, so... like ah. okay there we go so take off this all right hopefully Hopefully I don't have to charge it. There we go. You can see my shiny phone. <laughs> Alright, so... Let me... Actually, turn on my hot spot. Oh, it is on. Okay. I don't remember my password. Um, all right, so got it connected. Just the basics, skip through, joy. Okay, so successfully downloaded everything. I have to log into this to pair this, basically. All right, so this is what my POS system looks like. And how to pair the chip reader. So you go here to card readers and um, let's see, it's set up differently on here. Find and connect reader. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Make sure that this is. Um, set into its pairing mode so you 
gotta Almost press this more. little button right here, hold it down, and um, when you see the blue light come on, you'll see it pop up, and you'll be able to see, uh, let's see, turn this back on again, and... PayPal. So you click PayPal and it's pairing. And there you go. I believe that is believe that I believe that's connected. It says paired, so all right. Let's go back. It does show you how to pair different chip readers on here, so that's pretty cool. Alright, let's try this one more time. Give me one second. I might have my Bluetooth turned on and that might be messing up. Let's try this again. Turn it off. Turn it back on. All right, and we're in pair mode. Let's try this again. Cool. There we go. That took a second. I don't know what, why it was lagging there for a second, but yep. So it's paired and it will show blue. And it won't be flashing, so that's how you know it's on. When the red light's flashing, that means it needs to charge. So, but this is fully charged. So I'm officially paired, and on here it'll tell you the battery life of your chip reader as well. So now when you go back, you can type in whatever you need. You can go to your products here. Like I have all my products here. You can put in your creature invoices. Number pad, barcodes, if you have any barcodes. I'm not going to do that right now, but yeah. Oops. So yeah, that's how you do that. Okay. Um. Yeah, that pretty much covers th like how to pair this, right? Um, overall, satisfied with the tablet. Um, got it at Best Buy for like 150 bucks. I like it. Um, it does the job. It's not super fancy. It's not like the Tab A um, or the Tab S for or anything like that. But it's within a good budget range, and it's great for POS system. This one I believe is uh, like a 9.1 inch, so it's a decent size. I have small hands, but um, it's a decent size. Gets the job done. It's not too bulky. Um, it's not really thick either, and the back of it actually looks pretty nice, so I like that. Um, and now to go into a little bit further detail. So, PayPal is very simple in comparison to Square. Um, I had Square for like six months, and it was great at first. Um, there is a lot more settings, and it's a little bit more advanced in some areas. But PayPal's got much more simpler layout, cheaper merchant fees, so that's why I went with PayPal instead. And they also give you options for business debit cards, and they have credit card options as well, where you just pay like a percentage type thing. Sorry about my dogs, they're fighting over there in the background. Okay, so when you want to add something, you just click that little... Here, I'll go back, let me do that again. So when you click this little edit button right here, it might be different if you're doing this on... 
an Apple device. This is on an Android device. The layout's going to be a little bit different on an Apple device, just so you know. So when you want to add some things, you just go here and you add. You create the item, the price. You can create categories, variations, and um, you can also adjust your taxes as well. You can add categories. You can add options. Pretty simple, and that is it. That is literally it. You can add discounts. You can add your own custom discounts. You can do by numbers or by percentages. Um, those I'll be adding some later. You can add your taxes, which I have Arizona's 8.6. Um, that's for Tucson, and I'm now in Avondale, which is like 13%, so pretty high. Um, yeah, that pretty much covers everything about this. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. Um, we're going to get into trying to mount this onto the tablet using this piece. Yeah, it got a little scratched up, but yeah. All right, so got this mounted on here. It's on there pretty good. It's not going anywhere. Um, I would recommend... Like, I don't care because the tablet's cheaper, but if you guys don't want to damage the back of your tablet, this is solely for the purpose of a POS system. Um, eventually, I might have multiple POS systems, so I'm just, like, trial running this, and if I don't like it, it wasn't like it was an $800 tablet. It's only $150. It was actually $130. It came out to, like, $144 and some change after taxes. So, I don't mind mounting something on here, but for those of you that don't want to do that, get a case first, mount this onto the case, and then this actually, um, you slide it back in, just like that, and there you go, you have your tablet connected to your POS system, and mobile friendly, you can run payments wherever you're at as long as you have internet. Um, I know Square, if you didn't have internet connection, it would still run it. It would still run the payment like without the internet, but it wouldn't process and hit your account until you were connected to the internet. So my phone has hotspot, so my tablet is connected to my hotspot. My phone is with me all the time as well as my POS, so should be good. Um, yeah, and wherever you're at, you can always connect to Hotspot, or if you have a service provider, get a tablet through them, whatever is going to be easiest for you guys. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Give this video a thumbs up, and sorry about all the noise in the background with my dogs and stuff, and, um... Yeah, I like my tablet. I love my tablet. Perfect for POS system. Um, Best Buy sucks when it comes to packaging. <laughs> that is like the only complaint that I have right now. I don't care. I mean, it's it's a box. But, you know, when you're doing YouTube, and um, this is the dirty box that I got from Best Buy. So, obviously, they had some dirty hands. At least they're working, right? So it's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll test this out and I'll see how everything goes and I'll keep you guys updated and um, do a review again as um, far as overall customer satisfaction. I got to actually put this boy to use and see how I like it. And I'll let you guys know from there. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you guys.